Hello guys! In today's video, we're going to present to you the top 10 best hunting binoculars available on the market today. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers. Check out the description to find out their prices and more information. We've included the links in the description below. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for the daily video notification. So, without further ado, let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Vortex Optics Viper HD Tanks 42 Hunting Binoculars. Featuring an impressive combination of performance and durability, the Vortex Optics Viper HE Tanks 42 are the best binoculars for hunting on the market. With tanks magnification and wide field of view, you won't have any trouble spotting a distant target. Built to withstand the most brutal outdoor conditions, these hunting binoculars may be the only pair you ever need to own. Waterproof and fogproof, this unit has an O-ring seal that repels dirt and debris. The Viper's HD Extra low dispersion glass that provides this product with unbeatable resolution and color fidelity, even in low light conditions. Images are simply sharp and clear at graded distances. Aside from the obvious quality and durability, these hunting binoculars come with a few accessories including a carry case, neck strap, lens cover, and in rain guard. Perhaps most importantly, you'll get an unconditional lifetime warranty, and Vortex is a reputation for excellent customer service. If there is a clear drawback to the Viper, it's the eye relief, which makes viewing with glasses somewhat of an inferior experience. Moving on to the next at number two with Vortex Optics Diamond Back. Just a step down from our top pick, the Vortex Optics Diamond Back Tanks 4D2 is basically the Viper without the HD optics. Otherwise, it's nearly the same pair of binoculars with the same durable, waterproof, and fogproof construction, and tanks magnification, and of course, the lifetime warranty. If you're concerned about high-quality visuals without compromise, the Diamondback offers a field of view on par with more expensive binoculars. The eyepieces are adjustable and a central tool allows you to quickly and conveniently focus the binoculars depending on what you're tracking. If you have slightly better vision in one eye over another, you can make the changes to suit. The user-friendly design is a great value product that's enhanced by the various accessories included such as the carry case and lens covers. Also, the rubber exterior of these binoculars means that you can maintain a sturdy grip, even when it's raining. Overall, you can pay more to get better optics, but it's hard to beat the diamond back for overall value. The number three position is held by Bushnell Trophy XLT Hunting Binoculars. Didn't we just say the value of the Vortex diamond back would be hard to beat? Say hello to the Bushnell Trophy XLT 234210. These waterproof and fog-proof binoculars are protected by an O-ring seal and rubber armored housing that's comfortable in the hands. There are also soft touch thumb grips for added comfort. While flip covers protect the objective lenses for the elements, they're somewhat flimsy and easily fall off. Essentially, these are binoculars for hunting in all conditions. As for the Tanks 42 optics, the multi-coated lenses deliver sharp and bright images, particularly in low light conditions. The fast focus is good and very useful when time is of the essence. On the downside, these are probably not the best hunting binoculars if you're trying to travel light. At 2.2 pounds, the Trophy XLT is on the heavier side. Overall, when priced against the top two pairs, we think that this is one of the best choices if you're looking to get the best bang for your buck. Next at number four, we have Nikon Prostaf 7's binoculars for hunting. The Nikon Prostaf 7's 16003 provides consistent color and clarity, whatever you're viewing, so they are also good for hiking and birding. The Tanks 42, the multi-layer coated lenses and phase correction coated roof prisms are in line with what you'd expect from Nikon. Of course, hunting binoculars also need to be comfortable. In our opinion, this pair of binoculars is the best for hunters who wear glasses. The Prostaf 7's feature turn and slide rubber eye cups which allow you to adjust the space between your eye and the eyepiece. Thus, you can have a full field of view quickly and easily. The Prostate 7's rubber armored body is comfortable to hold, and the grip is tight, even when hunting conditions are wet. However, we don't like the cheap feeling lens covers. In our opinion, this product offers an excellent balance between quality and price. The build construction is solid and we like the very clear optics and that they are convenient for people who wear spectacles. 
The number five position is held by Bushnell Falcon hunting binoculars. If you're on a tight budget, then this may well be the product for you. The Bushnell Falcon 133,410 is much cheaper than the other binoculars we've reviewed. At such a low price, there are some sacrifices in quality. For example, it only offers up to 7x magnification, which may not be enough for some hunting needs. However, the optics offered for the price are very good. The lenses are fully coated for superior light transmission. In particular, we like the InstaFocus feature which makes focusing on fast targets so much quicker and easier. Despite being budget hunting binoculars, the Bushnell Falcon 133410 offers several other useful features. Notably, the non-slip rubber grip is very convenient, particularly in wet conditions. Fold-down eye cups allow for a degree of flexibility, particularly for those who wear prescription glasses or sunglasses. These also prevent scratching of glasses lenses. These are fairly versatile binoculars that can be used not only for hunting but also for birding, hiking, and watching sports games. At 8x6.2x3, these binoculars for hunting are not on the small side, so it's worth keeping this in mind if you are looking for a compact product. The number 6 position is dominated by Leupold BX1 Yosemite binocular. Completely shockproof, fogproof, and waterproof. The Leupold BX1 Yosemite binocular is built for facing adverse weather conditions in the field. It's got a large eye relief that makes for comfortable viewing 18.5 millimeters. You will find this feature especially helpful if you wear glasses. Overall, the viewing quality of these binoculars is pretty decent. However, you don't get great visibility at dawn, dusk, or in any other low light conditions. This is particularly disappointing since these binoculars are equipped with a twilight management system that's supposed to provide extra viewing time specifically during these periods of low light. The field of view is also lacking at just 326 feet. These issues would be forgivable on a cheaper pair of binoculars, but not at this price. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Hauntry binoculars. The first thing you are likely to notice about the Hauntry binoculars is their outrageously cheap price. For this low price, we didn't expect too much, but they are listed as hunting binoculars, so we felt they deserved a shot. After all, who doesn't like affordable gear? Once we held them for the first time, we were impressed with the ultra-low weight of this compact folding design. They weigh a mere 0.6 pounds, which is lighter than most of the binoculars on this list. Of course, that small size has some drawbacks. First, the eye relief is very small at 10 millimeters, likely too small for anyone wearing glasses. The picture quality also isn't great, though this is to be expected at such a low price point. They're not the binoculars we'd suggest, though they might you get by for a short while if you're in a pinch and on a tight budget. The number 8 position is held by Landview 20x50 Roof Prism Binoculars. With 20x magnification, we expected the Landview Roof Prism Binoculars to give us an up-close and personal view of our targets. Unfortunately, we were sorely disappointed. Comparing them side by side with several of our tank's magnification binoculars, we could hardly tell the difference, though these are supposed to have doubled the magnification. At nearly 2 pounds, these binoculars feel like a cumbersome weight swinging back and forth on your neck. They're also pretty bulky, at just about 8 inches long and wide. These would be forgivable offenses if these binoculars truly gave us 20x magnification, but it doesn't feel like that's the case. On the other hand, these binoculars are affordably priced. They're also IP7 rated waterproof and fog proof for days in the field. But they fell short in so many other respects that these few features won't be enough to make up for their shortcomings. Next at number 9, we have Carson 3D Series High Definition Waterproof Binoculars. These binoculars provide decent optical quality in a waterproof and fog proof package, but they're extremely overpriced for the quality and features. Though the image quality isn't bad, the field of view is quite narrow at just 314 feet. They have an extra long eye relief of 16 millimeters, great for those who wear eyeglasses. However, the eye cups have a ton of play, and they don't feel well made. Speaking of low quality, the overall feel of these binoculars leaves a lot to be desired, especially when you consider the high price. Several pairs we tested that were a fraction of this price felt like they were better built. For us, that's a losing combination that we just can't look past. If these binoculars were a third of the price, then we might be fans. As it stands, we can't recommend them. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Glandu 10X50 binoculars, BAK4 Poro Prism binoculars. These are some of the cheapest binoculars we tried for this list, so we didn't have high expectations going into testing. 
even with low expectations. These were a disappointment. With such a cheap price, we knew they'd be cheaply built. But these take that to a new level. We certainly don't trust the low quality construction to hold up in the field or through any type of abuse whatsoever. Heck, the IPs on ours fell off the third time we used them, and we were never rough with them. Right out of the box, the lenses were misaligned. This caused us to essentially see double, a disconcerting experience to say the least. They might be advertised as hunting binoculars, but we doubt you're going to spot much through these lenses. We upload all types of survival, camping and hunting product review videos every single day. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.